Hello, welcome to Mother J's social media platform. My name is Crystal Thomas and I am my mother's keeper. Let me share this with you to begin with. My mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about eight years ago. So I have been her sole or one of her main caregivers, my husband and I, for the past eight years. What I want to say is this, I am not an expert, but I am a caregiver. And I would love to share with you some brilliant things that I have discovered. And maybe, just maybe you may be able to share some things with me. What I found out is that I didn't even see the signs initially. So what I would like to share with you is some signs, some things you may want to see first, and some things you may want to see that you may want to follow up on. If you see any of these signs, this is not the normal for your mother or your father or your grandparent or whoever you may be caring for, take a deeper look. Don't do like me because I wasn't aware. My mother is a very, very good presenter. Even though she's in the eight years and her stage of change, my mother can go to a doctor's appointment and she'll have a civil, decent conversation with whomever. And if she didn't repeat herself repeatedly, you would think that she is normal. But when she starts talking, you will understand there's something else going on because she's saying the same thing over and over again. So what I would like to share with you is some things that you may want to take a look at first or because if someone had told me, I think that I would have been a little more attentive and a little more aware of what was going on. So I'm going to share with you some things you may take a look at first. And I understand the early signs. You may be like me, or maybe I can share some things with you to make you aware. First of all, losing keys, losing her pocketbook, getting lost when driving home, getting days of the week confused, not remembering names, not remembering conversations that were very important, forgetting to take their medication, forgetting simple tasks, taking out the garbage, leaving the ice cream setting out on the counter, leaving the stove on, burning food, especially when they've been an excellent cook, forgetting to take clothes out of the washer or dryer that left there for days, leaving lights on, getting 6 a.m. dawn mixed up with 6 p.m. in the evening, especially when it starts getting dark at night during the winter months, not eating healthy, forgetting what time of the day it is, forgetting phone numbers, forgetting where they keep certain items all the time. They used to keep their remote control one place, they used to keep their house keys one place, and they can't even remember. Misplacing things, missing money, thinking that someone else has taken their money, losing their remote control, losing their house keys, or forgetting where they placed them. Forgetting to follow up with very important appointments, doing the same thing over and over again, like brushing your teeth or going to the bathroom, trying or urinating, thinking they're constipated when they're really not, asking for medication over and over again for a headache or a backache. You know, what I found out that something is going on in their brain, they know something's going on. So what they would do is sometimes say, my stomach hurt or my back hurt, or my head hurt. Like me, one time I was giving my mom meds because I, I'm gonna tell her noise because I really thought her back was hurting. No, it wasn't, it was something else. And I'm gonna tell you a trick that I did with that. Going to the bathroom repeatedly, eating all the time, forgetting to eat, or even watching the same show repeatedly and acting as if it's the first time they've ever heard of it or seen it. The TV turned up really, really loud, forgetting how to use the telephone, forgetting how to dial phone numbers, forgetting how to use the appliances. Well, I'm old school, but forgetting how to start the DVR or VCRs, forgetting how to operate their TV, how to turn it on and how to turn it off, forgetting her close friends' names, forgetting important dates, my birthday is Christmas Day. Who forgets my birthday? Who would forget their own birthday? But they will start forgetting important days. Forgetting her grandchildren's names. Forgetting her children's names. 
or her spouse forgetting what year it is that is phenomenal not even knowing what year it is forgetting who is the president of the united states forgetting her birthday forgetting how old he or she is not knowing the difference between toothpaste and polygrip that's tragic not knowing the difference between body wash and mouthwash not knowing the difference between shampooing shampoo and sanitizer, forgetting how to dress, forgetting how to tie up their shoes, forgetting how to button up their blouse or the shirt, forgetting how to zip up their clothing, not knowing the right side from the wrong side of their clothes. I've seen loved ones having their clothes on the wrong side out, forgetting which is the right or the left shoe, Losing their dentures, that is major. Losing their glasses, losing their sweaters or their jackets, losing their cane or their walker, losing personal possessions, not being, explained, not being able to explain what happened. Driving to church, my mama did this, on a Saturday, thinking it was a Sunday. She was questioning the mailman, why is he delivering mail on a Sunday? In actuality, it was a Saturday. Going to the grocery store, driving herself to pick up five items and getting there and coming home with only two items. Articulating and presenting herself very well, repeating herself, but irritated because they want to go home, but they're already home. Packing their clothes, leaving the house, wondering wanting to know what happened to their car, who has their car keys, when are they going home, where are their husbands or their wives, where are their deceased siblings, where are their mother and their father and their grandparents, bathing, shampooing hair, washing and ironing clothes, showering, afraid of water hitting their face, afraid of water getting into their ears, afraid of them feeling like they're gonna get drowned even though they're sitting in the shower chair, washing the same part of their body over and over again, wanting to put de deodorant on and lotion repeatedly over and over again. You did that, no I did over and over again, you wanna repeat themselves, putting the deodorant or lotion on because they can't remember putting it on forgetting how to put on a bra, forgetting how to groom their hair, forgetting how to put the deodorant on or the lotion, and just totally forgetting hygiene, period. These are some of the things that later on, the later items that I discuss, later on in different stages, you would definitely know there's some Alzheimer's or dementia going on. But in the beginning, you may not even be aware because I wasn't. My mother lived by herself for years. All her life she's lived alone. She's driven, she's gone to the grocery store. She's done everything independently. She was a missionary. She would cook food and take food to the sick and the shut-in. So there was times I would talk to her and we have the same conversations over and over again. And I remember one day she said to me, Crystal, she says, you're not gonna believe what I did. She says, I got up, I got ready for church, I got dressed, my mother wears beautiful hats to church and she wears beautiful suits. And she said, I was wondering why in the world was the mailman delivering mail on a Sunday? She went ahead to church. She said she could not figure out in the neighborhood why people were actually cutting grass on a Sunday. I'm from a really religious background and the people respect Sunday and they don't cut grass. She said, I don't know why they was doing that. And when she got there, someone told her, why are you here? Today is Saturday. She came home and she called me and told me what she had did. We laughed, we cried and we kicked and we laughed how funny it was that she had gotten her days mixed up and went to church on a Saturday. We laughed about it. I had no idea that that was probably a, a clue. I had no idea that that was probably something I should look into. One day she went to church 
and she went to a sister church, which was probably about two or three miles from her original church. And she went on a Sunday afternoon for an afternoon program. But when she got out of church, it was like six o'clock in the evening. So it was getting dawn, dark. And she called me, she said, oh my God, Crystal. I went way on the other side from where I live at. I said, what do you mean? She said, I got lost. I got turned around. I was down there by the library. I'm like, mama, we laughed about it. Because in my mind, and in my, I had no idea that there was anything considered. I never knew or ever heard of onset or early onset of Alzheimer's or dementia. So I just wanted to share these little things that may make you aware, or you may have a loved one or a family member that may be experiencing some difficulties with just short-term memory, or I thought it was just her getting old. I had no idea there was really the early onset of some of the things that a person may experience. So again, when you see a lot of things happening repeatedly, losing keys, you know, leaving, turn, leaving the burner on, just be aware it's not them. Because, you know, when you really think about our loved ones, our mothers and our fathers, and the way they have been with us, and when you see things as repeatedly happening over and over again, you can say, uh, oh, that's not the norm. And don't do like me. So, oh, mom, I guess you're just getting old. No. Let's take a second look. And sometimes we have to even be closer because I was living in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and my mother was living in Gastonia, North Carolina, miles apart. And we'd get on the telephone and kiki and laugh. And the whole time, my mother was going through some things that she didn't realize she was going through, and nor did I. So hopefully and prayerfully, these little tidbits on what to notice or what to not recognize first and what to do next is so important. So again, I will continue coming on and sharing Mother Jay's tips and things that you may need to be able to be aware of and suggestions. And then listen, feel free to share information with me. As I forestated, I am not an expert. I'm just a caregiver. And I love hearing wonderful suggestions and, and, and thinking you may be concerned with to share with me. A couple of weeks ago, I posted how I had anxiety about, I was trying to shampoo my mother's hair. I had a jacuzzi and I took her out with shampoo in her hair and she was upset about her water getting into her ears. And she didn't want water in her face, but she kept bringing her face forward. And some wonderful person on Facebook sent me some information from Amazon on how to buy the proper information, the proper things to lay her head back. So I never have to worry about that again. So again, I am open for any suggestions or ideas, and I would love sharing what I have as well. With that said, join us on all the social media platforms. We're on YouTube, Facebook, and also Instagram. And listen, I am really trying to get all of my um, videos posted on my YouTube Facebook page. I mean, my Facebook page. It's named Crystal's Photo Finishing, and I changed the name to Mother J, but it still has Crystal's Photo Finishing and Mother J in parentheses. But I have over 4,000 videos of my journey with my mother for the past eight years. I have doctor's appointments. Every doctor's appointment, eye appointment, brain scan, everything. And I'm willing and plan to share all of that information with all of you. So with that said, have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. God bless.